What's up guys, Toycade here and once again we're back for another quick RK1 up update on the final design on Tron and maybe some Terminator 2 sneak peek. Let's get straight into it. So another couple of FCC reporting have been released and they seem to be coming thick and fast as we draw closer to the busy period towards Christmas. We've seen some dodgy renderings from the famous Randy leaks to Walmart and Wayfair listings. Here in the FCC reporting we have the final design without the license artwork. This could be due to pending licensing agreement at the time of testing, who knows? But at least from the report we can get a clear picture of the size and three notable features. One, unique shape to mimic the original RK machine. As you can see, RK one has paid homage to the original cab by retaining as close to the original design as possible, which has resulted in a taller cab. This unique design is achievable with two side panel instead of the usual one, and should not be confused with the rise panel and extenders found on the Big Blue and the upcoming Killer Instinct. The bottom panel is substantially big in size. From the inside, we can see the same connecting brackets are used here. What is also notably bigger is the riser itself. So it's safe to assume that this is going to be a tall cab closer to the big blue size. 2. Black light. To replicate the original Tron machine fluorescent black light tube, RK1 up is putting a black light strip behind the marquee facing down with the speakers. I have no doubt this is going to be one of the coolest features of this cab. The black light along with the responsive ink on the monitor surround and side panels will make this cap look amazing. 3. Plexiglass panel. The J panel below the control panel looks to be plexiglass acrylic and behind that is LED lights. After seeing this design, you can see the RK1 up has put a lot of attention to details on replicating the original Tron cab. From the side panel shape to the black light down to the front J panel light up. This could be RK1 up's finest product. Personally, I have no attachment to Tron itself. It wasn't a game I played as a kid, nor a movie I watched. So I'm likely to give this a pass, but for those who have the space, money, and really want to recreate the retro arcade room, this is possibly a no-brainer as it could possibly be the best looking cab from RK1 Up. Another SEC reporting that was a release was a class of 81, but there is a much to report here as they're using the existing Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man form factor here. Definitely check it out if you're interested and I'll leave a link in the description below. The live feature of the Class 81 is going to be leaderboard only, and I believe this is going to be the same for Tron. Before I sign off, it wouldn't be right without RK1 up leaving us an easter egg of a future cab. In the Killer Instinct FCC reporting, it was Ultimate Mortal Kombat, which is due in 2022. And in this set of reports, it's the real image of a Terminator 2 cab. Based on this picture here, the Terminator 2 is next to the Class of 81 on a riser, and you can clearly see how much higher the Terminator 2 will be. Also in the picture in the background is a Simpson box. And another picture here could possibly validate our suspicion that the guns on the Terminator 2 are removable and will need to be played this way. Alright guys, that's all for this quick RK1 Up update video. I hope you enjoyed the new images of Tron and the first real image of Terminator 2. Let me know in the comments below if you're impressed like me with the attention to detail RK1 Up has on the Tron, or you're just hyped about seeing the Terminator 2. I'm really liking RK1 Up attention to detail as they move forward to the future titles. They are giving us more detail as possible, increasing the height, adding Wi Fi, which is great. They just need to fix those prices and it's really entering full size cabinet prices here. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button to support the channel. And if you like this video, hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.